Good afternoon, Damien Egan from Ocean Protect. Beautiful day here in South East Melbourne. And today we've come to our Jellyfish 900 by 900 stormwater filtration system. Today we're gonna to do a standard service and the first step of any service is to establish how much sediment has been collected in the bottom of the unit. And to do that, we use a standard sludge judge. As you can see from the sludge judge, we've probably got about 100, 120 mil of sediment in the bottom of the system. This, the filters have been in the system for 10 months. So this equates to about 120 litres of sediment that's been collected in that time. So the system's doing its job and it's stopping this type of pollution from traveling onwards down into our beautiful waterway. So the first step in the washing down of the jellyfish filtration system is to just take a little bit of the water down because we're going to be using water to wash the, the filters down. So with that little bit of water that comes down, which we've just disposed of down the sewer system, so that's the top liquid, um, it's, it's pretty clear there's obviously not a lot of sediment. The next step is actually to, to take the caps off with the cartridges. So we do that by rotating that, take the caps off, and with the cartridges, the jellyfish system itself, it's just nice and slowly lift, lift the system up, Allow the water to drain slowly from the cartridge filters. So the first step is what we want to do is we want to disconnect the 11 jellyfish tentacles from the head plate and I happen to have the socket but any old uh, uh, adjustable spanner will do the trick as well. So now that we've taken the tentacles off the head plate, the next stage is to wash the tentacles down. Now to do that, well, as I said, we're going to be washing them down over the inlet side, over this side of what we call the maintenance access wall. That means any of the pollutants that we're washing down are going to be retained by the filtration system. We take the filter from this way and begin to rinse them down. So now that we've washed down the 22 tentacles in pretty good time, it takes about 15-20 minutes to do that. Um, we're now going to reassemble the tentacles on the head plate. Um, very satisfying doing that. I don't know what's more satisfying is cleaning the tentacles or knowing that all of this pollution that we've just washed down is not on its way to our beautiful waterways. So to reassemble the cart cartridges, we just reassemble the tentacles back onto the head plate. The first part is a rubber o-ring that you put on top, underneath, head plate on top, and then just nuts. Now that we've assembled the jellyfish tentacles onto the head plates, just hand tight, now we go around and just tighten them up. Alright, so it's been about an hour since we've arrived. We've now washed down, washed down the tentacles and we're about to put the jellyfish cartridges back into place. So we're all done. It's taken us about an hour to get here and we're going to be good for another six months to come out and have a look at it again. Thanks for watching.